Hey guys, welcome back to Small Critic Captain 2017 and part 70 of the road to world number one with England. And today we have the fifth and final test match of the Ashes down under against Australia. I am back. Uh, you guys won't have noticed anything, but I haven't recorded this game for about three weeks now. Uh, I've had a very, very busy September. If you, if you don't know why, I did a video much earlier in the month. Uh, explain what I've been doing. I've been to a, a, a YouTube content creator day in Nottingham um, for Football Manager. I have uh, had my birthday. Uh, the, the missus has had her birthday. We've been back and forward. We had our uh, anniversary on Saturday as well. So I've had a lot of things going on um, and I'm back at uni next week. So yeah, still a, a lot of things going on, but the good thing is, is I'm back and there's going to be daily content uh, for the foreseeable future before FM18 and then we'll be going daily with that. But this series, for the moment, is going to continue by daily uh, hopefully swapping with F1 2017 at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're going to slot in some football manager and motorsport manager uh, some of the days as well. And FIFA... 17 comes out on Thursday. Hopefully, I'll get a bit earlier uh, in the post, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, if it comes out, uh, if it comes on Wednesday, you'll see videos on Wednesday. If it comes Thursday, you'll see videos Thursday. I'm going to be doing an Everton career mode. Um, I'm also going to be doing the journey. I haven't decided what team I'm going to do the journey with yet, and I'm also going to be doing a bit of ultimate team. It's going to sort of uh, alternate a little bit early on and uh, we'll see how much time I have uh, to do those series but enough of that admin out of the way um, yeah let's get back in well, we've already won the series which is great because we're probably going to lose this because I haven't played the game for about three weeks so yeah this was the squad that won the last game uh, I'm going to have to have a look at the series so far uh, average wise Joe Root's probably doing the worst I've seen a comment about relinquishing him from the captain scene giving it a Fogden I don't think we're quite at that stage yet Joe Root has still had a very very good year if we if we have a look at it um, he's been only averaging 41 but generally uh, like last year he averaged 58 and the year before he averaged 82 so um, Joe Root is, is still very much um, in our plans and is going to be the captain going forward at least in the next year probably the year after as well James Anderson probably on his last legs this could be his last ever test match uh, remember and he's he's just going to the uh, 700 club um, he's on 721 now and yeah looking very very good so yeah, let's get into it. I don't think we need to change anything. I think we're we're pretty happy with with how it's going, and uh, hopefully we can end the series on a high. Um, and yeah, uh, I believe we've won, already won the series. I might be wrong. I really might be wrong, but uh, we can bat first. I think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bat first. I really can't remember. I think we've won it. Somebody commented in the last episode saying congratulations on winning the series. So let's hope that we have won it and I'm not just going to throw away the ashes in this match. But um, no, we're into it now. Start to cook. Alistair Cook gone for nine. Remember Alistair Cook on his expedition to become the, the highest uh, centuries of all time. He's not going to do that in this match. But he can um, equal the record if he uh, got a century in the next innings. Um, I remember Wood was very, very good so far. But there's a launch hit of a long day one. It's 71 for one. Um, good little start there. Duckett's hopefully going to go to his 50. I think he already has done, and he has. He's on 51. Um, I am trying some new settings with me OBS today. Hopefully trying to get 1080p um, as the sort of definition. I don't know why I've not done this in the past, but hopefully... It's looking a little bit better for you. If it's a little bit choppy, I apologise. Um, but I think it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine. Zamping out a ducket. Not quite. Oh, he's out for 61. Hmm, what a shame. Joe Root comes to the crease. Under a little bit of pressure, certainly from you guys down in the comments. Uh, Wood gone for 48. Uh, and now Michael Fogden comes to the crease. The, the possible captain's replacement although he's gone for 18 
and we're all ready for make that five down. Root gone for 30, so yeah, not an, another failure you would say. It's sort of like the, the Michael Vaughan era, how that came to an end. Uh, you know, just a few bad result, uh, bad scores for him, and, it, and he was gone. Here's a wooden out crane, he's gone for a duck, and well, we're 209 for eight now. We're really, really struggling. Ben Stokes will hopefully manage to, to get some runs on board. Zampan out of Stokes. Nope. We're going to go a, a little bit more attacking with him and, and try and get us past the, at least the 300 mark. But he's gone for 22 and now Anderson comes to the crease. He's not going to do anything. Um, yeah, let's just attack. You know, the most these two can probably get us to is, is 250. But Finn gone for 9. 236 all out. A bit of a collapse there. And hopefully uh, we can bring it back with the ball. We're going to make Stephen Finn the other opening ball and hopefully he can do something. But end of day one, it's 19 without loss. We'd love to get a couple of early wickets here, Renshaw and Warner. Uh, a couple of you guys asked about Warner and Smith. They're still knocking about, as you can see. So, yeah, just a disappointing start here. Walks and Crane now. Mason Crane to Renshaw. Gone, he's out for 35. Crane gets his first wicket. Steve Smith now comes to the crease. Mason Crane to Steve Smith. Nope. I'm going to bring Ben Stokes in with James Anderson. Lunch interval on day two. It's 136 for one. There's, there's still 100 behind here. Stokes in to Smith, and he's gone for 24. Good delivery by Ben Stokes. Stokes now to Warner. Hmm. We can get both them two out. We've already got one of them. There's Warner gone for 94. So two big wickets there from Ben Stokes, and he'll be happy with that. We'll bring Chris Walks in now with Stephen Finn. Hmm. Nothing happening there. We'll bring Crane in now with Ben Stokes. T and Valon day two. It's 265 for three. They're already in the lead. Just got to try and reduce that lead as much as possible. Uh, hopefully keep it under 150, something like that. That would be decent. Crane gets Hanscom. He's gone for 33. Stokes now to Cartwright. That's four. Stokes now to Green. Nope. What about Crane to Cartwright? Come on. Got him. He's gone for 104. And now Wade comes to the crease. Uh, we've got Stephen Finn and James Anderson. New ball available. Anderson now to Wade. Gets his first wicket. He's gone for 18. Can Finn do anything? Anderson to Zampa. Second wicket. Dropped. Annoying Finn now to Zampa. Gone. He's over for 11. Finn now to Green. Nope. That was a no ball, I think. And we'll bring Crane in again. End of day two, 387 for seven. They're already 150 in the lead. Oh, that's gone though. Stark out for nine. Good start to day three. Stokes now to green. That's four. Annoying. Very annoying runs, those ones. Crane now to Paris. Got him, he's gone for two. And now Crane to green. Past 400. Crane now to green again. Can he get his five for? Nope. Stokes to green. Gone. He's over for 75. So 185 all out. Four each for Stokes and Crane, and they lead by 185 runs in the first innings. We need a few big scores here, but duck it gone for 17 early on. That's a really, really poor start for us. And at the launch interval on day three, we've reached 60 for one, 125 runs behind. Alistair Cook has started nicely, but he needs to push on and get a big total. Dominic Wood uh, needs to sort of dig in as well. 50 for Alistair Cook, good for him. 50 for Dominic Wood, 133 for one now, 52 runs behind. This is a lot better, you would say. Uh, Paris now to Wood, and Wood's gone for 63. We didn't want Joe Root to come in before we had a first innings lead. Um, but hopefully he can go and get a good total. Alistair Cook in the 90s. 
Oh, please don't get out. Oh, he's gone. So Alistair Cook was going to go and equal the record by another out in the 90s. End of day three. We finally lead by 26, but we're theoretically 26 for three here. So we need to push on. We need two big totals from two of our main players here. Michael Fogden and Joe Root. Joe Root's past 50. Uh, which is a, a much needed score for him. He's into the 70s now. Fogden doing nicely as well. Root's gone though. Root's out for 71. Johnny Bass so comes to the crease now. Lunch interval on day four. 319 for four. We lead by 134 uh, runs. Uh, this could be a run out. It's not though. Good running. Just need these two to settle in, start hitting boundaries. Fogden gone for 89, we still haven't had a Centurion despite four very good scores so far. Zampan out of Stokes, once he's gone it's kind of shaky. Somebody said down in the comments that the tail was too long, but uh, who do you drop out of Anderson? Um, Anderson, Finn or Crane. But there we have it, 412 for 6 at uh, T, I think, on day 4. We're 227 runs in the lead. And hopefully we can have a bit of a, a sort of attack towards the end of the innings now and really get some runs on the scoreboard, get a good lead. Bairstow gone for 66, another man that hasn't quite managed to, to get his sentry, but hopefully Chris Wokes can have a... A bash that's high in the air from Walks and he's gone for 24. Now Stephen Finn comes to the crease. We only lead by 265. It's a, a bit risky attacking at this point. Um, but, you know, whether we're Ball Australia for 260 or 290, it's it's much of a muchness, you know. It's, it's unlikely either which way. But uh, the longer we can hang on, the more likely a draw is. Obviously, we don't have to win this match. Um, and Zamba now to Finn. And no, they're, they're chipping, out, chipping away quite nicely. Getting the odd run here and there. And, um, pushing us towards 500. I don't think we're quite going to get there. But, you know, they're, they're giving Australia a bit of frustration. To no ball. So Stephen Finn on 10, Mason Crane on 17. We lead by 292. There's 13 minutes left. Um, we're just gonna wait until we're bowled out. We're not, we're not gonna mess with aggressive declarations. Finn's finally gone for 12. And now Anderson comes to the crease. We've survived to the end of day four. 483 for nine. It means Australia have to come back at the start of day five and, and bowl a bit before. Um, before they'll, they'll get a chance to chase down this total. Ah, what a shame, Anderson gone for four, so 315 runs ahead, 500 all out, 316 to win for the Aussies. Um, I'm going to open the ball in with Chris Wokes this time, see if we can get him into, back into some kind of form. Doesn't look like we can. We're going to go Finn and Stokes now, Finn to Renshaw. Got him! Finn gets the first wicket. Renshaw gone for 12, and it's now 40 for 1. Lunch interval on day 5. It's 61 for 1. They need 255 to win. It's a very achievable target, especially if they start getting runs quickly. And they've got two batsmen at the crease that can do that, and probably will do that. Stokes to Smith, though. He's gone for 29. Although David Warner's the man that we would like to get out. And Mason Crane has that chance to do it now. He's already conceded 12 runs in the over. Can it manage to do anything there? We're going to bring Anderson in at the other end. Try and keep things tight. Uh, it's going to be tough. Walks now to Cartwright. Just for four. Yeah. Almost within 100. And that's the sort of sign that you really struggling. Tainable day five, they need 115 to win in this final session of the match. Stephen Finn now to Warner, he's gone for 125, that's a huge wicket. That is a huge wicket. These two very, very expensive. 
Um, I'm going to bring Walks and Stokes in now. Stokes to Cartwright. That's high in the air. Is it going to be caught? It is. Cartwright gone for 61. Come on now. Stokes to Green. Nope. Walks to Green. Again, no. Stokes to Green again. Edged and gone. He's out for 15. And now Wade comes to the crease. They need 33 to win. But we at least have a chance here. We're going to have Walks at one end. Walks to Wade. Nope. They need 13 to win. They're probably going to do it, let's be honest. Finn to Hanscom. And there it is. Four runs. Australia win by five wickets. But we have won the series 2-1. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Um, never mind. We lost by five wickets. We were quite soundly beaten. It was mainly that collapse in the first innings that cost us. If we look at the fall of wickets, if we can. Um, there we go. We were 180 for four and 236 all out. If Joe Root and Michael Fogden went on and got a good total each, like they did in the second innings, we would have been fine. But uh, no, that's the end of the 2022 season. We will just go on now um, and go at the end of the season and we'll have a look at the world rankings. Obviously, we've got those two points from Australia and uh, Australia have lost those two points. By the way, to the two people that met me in Nottingham and shook me hand, hello, it was great to meet you. Um, yeah, <laughs> crazy to, to see that people recognised us down in Nottingham and uh, and what we're watching the content it was great to see you it was a wonderful day um sorry i didn't go to the meal we had to get back to manchester um where the missus lives uh because her mum had tea ready for us but um yeah that's the end of the year and we are now second in the road to world number one we're only five points beyond australia it's quite terrifying that we've beaten australia home and away and we're still five points behind them. The the big places we need to make up are India and that home series against Pakistan. If we can win them too and win that home series and also win this New Zealand series as well, then we have a chance. There's obviously a lot of chances in there. Obviously that 2-1 defeat to, to Sri Lanka cost us a little bit. But um, no, overall... I think we're we're in a good place. Who's the world's best batsman? Ben Duckett is number two. He's only six points behind Warner. And Warner obviously had that wonderful um, series against us. Cook's up there. Fogden, Wood. Goodness me, we've got four of the top ten batsmen there. Um, Joe Root at 18. That shows Root's sort of been the weak link recently in the, in the batting lineup. But I think he'll come back stronger next year. We'll have a look at the bowlers quickly. I uh, don't think we're going to have any of these. Chris Walks at 11. He had a poor series down under. James Anderson still in the top 20. Ben Stokes in the top 20. But uh, no, bowling-wise we are struggling. But yeah, uh, let's have a look at this year's sort of stats. Um, if we go into that, the the, the highest... Average was Dominic Wood with a, a 90.4, Ben Duck at 65, Johnny Bairstow 64, Cook 61, Fogden 51, and Root only 42 this year. Runs wise, uh, Wood 1000, uh, 1266, Duckett 1108, Cook 734, Fogden 724, and Root 675. In terms of wickets, highest wicket taker was Ben Stokes with 38 at a bowling average of 33. Uh, Crane got 33 at an average of 38. Uh, Walks got 31 and uh, with 29.42. I think Anderson's retired. Um, has he? Where is he? <laughs> Anderson's not on there. Finn. Um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go into that, and then. Yeah, Sanderson's gone. Oh, that's really sad. Anderson's gone. He's retired at the age of forty, seven hundred and twenty-two. Test wickets at an average of thirty. What did he do this year? Can we have a look? No, we can't. And last year, nah, no, that's on there now. 
That's really sad, Anderson. What a career he's had. 187 matches, 722 wickets. Jimmy Anderson, this one's for you. Thank you very much for your service, and we'll go into next season. Let's see which teams we'll be playing. Away! We've got Zimbabwe! <laughs> you don't know how sort of significant that is, because... I've ne we've never played Zimbabwe in a um, in a in a series on on camera before. Um, hopefully, we'll get an away series. But we've got Zimbabwe at home. That's quite cool. Uh, and then we've got Pakistan. That's another two points that we can get. Uh, and then we're in South Africa again. Oh, it's five Test matches as well. That's so annoying. Um, but that's the fourth. But yeah, seeing Zimbabwe in England will be very, very good. It means that it is possible to play them in this game. And yeah, we'll, we'll be going away to them, I assume, in the next couple of years. But we've got two points to make up against Pakistan. Um, and that's another two points to make up in the, the, the standings. That would take us up to 26 Australia. I mean, the only people they've lost against are us and, and South Africa. Uh, they drew against Pakistan. So they, they've they got points that they make up as well. They'll, they'll probably be playing those series this year. But uh, no, overall, I'm, I'm very, very happy um, with what we're looking at. And, and yeah, we'll, we'll have the Zimbabwe first test match in the next episode I will be streaming on Wednesday I don't know if it's going to be Critic Captain 2017, we're also me and Toby uh, who you may have seen on the channel before uh, we are planning to do a sort of Ashes Squad um, sort of reaction video I guess uh, and that's going to be tomorrow so uh, yeah, anyway if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel, and I hope you guys, pardon me, having a wonderful day, <laughs> pardon me, thanks for watching, and goodbye, hopefully I'll have got rid of the hiccups by the next time you watch us. Mm -hmm.